hi guys, we're here at Black Spruce Dog Sledding to talk about teamwork and how we, Jeff and Katie Joe, are able to make it with our dogs to the finish line of Iditarod. And the start line. And the start line. That's probably <laughs> as important as anything. Yeah, so when I think about teamwork, I think a lot about sharing. So when we feed, we're sharing that work. When we're scooping poop, we're sharing that work. Um, but when we're racing, we get to share that as well. So in January, I will be doing all of the racing and Jeff will just be watching me and helping me. And then when he's in Iditarod in March, he gets to do all of the fun racing and then I get to watch um, and I get to help him as much as I can. And I also stay home and take care of the dog. How about teamwork in Iditarod? Would you say that you're like the coach of the team and they're all the players? Yeah, it's something similar to that. I'm definitely managing and coaching them, um, but I'm also at times one of the athletes as hills are really steep or as we get towards the end of Iditarod, sometimes the team reduces in size and maybe only have six or seven dogs. Well, then it's really important that I'm contributing um, in the really tough snow conditions with a really steep climb. And I'm acting not only as their coach and manager, but also one of the team members to help them make it up those steep hills or through that. So how do you do that? How do you help them physically? In the race? Physically helping them. I'm actually off the sled. I'm running. I have a ski pole with me so I can ski pole alongside the sled. I talk to them. I keep them motivated with my voice, letting them know they're doing a good job or they need to adjust something. I'm watching the dogs as they actually move in the team and arranging them according to like attitude and energy, who looks like they should be leading the team at that moment. Um, sometimes we'll have to stop in the middle of a run and rotate dogs around. If one dog's getting tired, they need to move a little further back in the team and another dog needs to go up and take their place. Um, so just actively watching and, and managing the dogs and then sometimes physically helping them. Okay guys, so we've talked a little bit about teamwork involved in our lifestyle in Iditarod. And now I'd like for you to think about how you use teamwork in the classroom and at home. See you down the trail.